Hey guys, this is Drake One. This is um, week 31 for the Cool Otakus. Um, and this week we are talking about um, have uh, you have we ever seen ourselves or related ourselves to any anime or manga characters? And this was asked by a name will be in the um, the, uh, the embedded on the video somewhere. And before anyone asks, I know I haven't done a video in about two or three weeks. Um, I've just been busy, um, busy, and um, I've kind of just not had time to do one. It's like with reviews as well. I just haven't had time to do any of those either. And I know a lot of people have been saying, Dragon, how come you haven't done videos in a while? I know, I haven't done a video in a while. It's been a, it's been quite ages because I've just been busy. Um, by busy, I mean not really busy, just being lazy and just couldn't be bothered to actually make one. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've been doing stuff and haven't had time to do a video. So that's why. Um, so... Have I ever related myself to an anime or manga character? Now, I do it all the time. I always, always relate myself to an anime or manga character because sometimes I just think that they've got, they're so similar to me, it really is untrue. Um, like, for example, I'd relate myself to Natsu and Luffy quite a lot because I relate myself to Natsu because he's quite hot, um, you know, quite uh, short tempered and quite hot headed, um, which is kind of how I am sometimes. I can be quite hot headed and short tempered. Um, and also, Natsu is a bit stupid as well, and I'm also quite like that as well. I don't get motion sickness though, but um, again, with Luffy, Luffy's really clueless and a bit stupid, um, and I'm like that as well. But when it comes down to it, Luffy does take like being a pirate seriously, and that's kind of me too. It's like um, I do goof around and clown around a lot, but when it comes to the thing that I, I'm dedicated to, I'm I am quite serious about it. So um, yeah, that's why I kind of relate myself to Luffy and Natsu. I also relate myself to I I always relate myself to light in some ways because um, I'm not obviously I'm not like some smart ass, but I could see where he's coming from coming from with his motives, and I guess that's why I kind of liked light a lot more than L. I never really liked L from the start because. L kind of did my head in, and I just didn't really like him. I just thought he, he just knew too much. I, obviously, we all think that, but I just didn't really like L. I know a lot of people were like, oh, L's amazing. No, he's not. I, I preferred Light, and I wanted Light to win. Um, and I, I just think I relate to myself to Light because he's a bit of an evil bastard. And again, I'm a bit of an evil bastard as well. So just uh, just a quick warning. If I, if I ever got superpowers, just God help humanity. Um, because I did slave you all. <laughs> um, not really. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that's the only people I can relate to at the moment. I don't just relate myself to anime and manga characters. I also relate myself to quite a lot of other fictional characters. Like when I watch The Big Bang Theory, if you haven't watched The Big Bang Theory, it's an amazing TV show. Definitely check it out. Um, I relate myself to Leonard the most. I don't know why Leonard, but I just think I think of myself as Leonard because... I think Len Leonard is kind of the voice of reason in the series, but he's just kind of like, he just he's just so hard done to, and I just feel like that's me. I just thought every time, every anime or every manga I've read, and there's always the loser character. That is me. That is always who I relate myself to. Um, oh, what what um, manga was I reading the other day? It was really depressing. Uh, basically, it was about this guy who um, he had no friends, and he got bullied, and he just he had no talent. No friends. Well, they did have some one friend, but he didn't really want to be his friend because he just he just he just didn't want any. He just didn't want to be a friend um, who was like the king of the otakus at school, and he just thought he was too good for that. But again, a bit of a douche in that sort of area. But I just felt that is me. I'm the guy who's alone forever. So not really. I do have friends with anything, but I always think of myself as quite a quite a lone wolf and kind of always alone. Um I know it's not that's kind of really sad into it, but yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I see myself. Is this sort of like lone wolf that is isolated because people don't really understand me, I guess, or get me in that sort of sense. I'm kind of coming up with personal issues in this video. Whoa. Do you know psychic do psychic um I don't know what the technical word is, like psychiatric treatment on myself, something like that. No, psychiatric treatment is like for some nutcases, isn't it? Uh, anyways, we're, we're digging into past here in this video. Um, but yeah, um, I always relate if, if I'm going to watch it, if I'm watching anime or manga and there's characters and there's the loser character, that is me. That is who I relate myself to. That, I pretty much, I hope that answers your question. Also, 
I thought about something I wanted to talk about in this video as well. What well, one is I want to get more reviews done, obviously. But two is um, I knew Nem said he was doing a manga. Like well, I gave him the idea, and he sort of like developed it and done it further, and he was making a manga. Well, I've also decided that I'm making a manga as well now. Um, not just me, obviously, but um, I've got I found one of my friends to draw it out, and what I'm doing it now is just sort of planning like the first two chapters out and sort of trying to think of ahead and how it's going to work and how I can like entwine the first chapter, like. Um, I kind of looked at sort of One Piece and looked at the first chapter of One Piece and like looked at all the like the subtle hints in there for like literally for so long down the timeline like if you look at the first chapter you'll see things in there that like don't come up until like the um, chapter 300 odd so I mean that's what I was kind of thinking was doing something like that and I was also thinking what references I could put in and that kind of thing so you know I've planned it out quite a lot I do have the basic idea in my head but it's just trying to write it down and make it work and just kind of, you know, entwine and make it connect with other chapters. So if you have tried to make a manga or tried to do a comic book or a graphic novel or something, you will understand where I'm coming from. Um, so at the moment, I'm just sort of writing down the sort of the basic, literally um, the first chapter doing it like bit by bit and then breaking it down and then what I'm going to do is write it all up in one go and then do a name for it and then send it off to my mate Gareth who's drawing it out and then he's going to draw it out and make it cooler and ink it and stuff so um, you guys will definitely have to uh, keep a weekly lookout for how the, the manga's progressing it probably won't progress for a couple of months because it probably won't get anywhere until like two months from now um, two months from now I might have a name for it I might have a name or a storyboard if you want to be technical but no in manga they're called names aren't they but I'm just going to stick to that so I might have a name for it in the next two or three months um, I still got a lot to think about and uh, thanks to Nem for giving me some names of characters also just a quick thing um, the manga actually I'll tell you a bit about the manga itself the manga is about um, I kind of don't want to give too much away though it's about this boy who gets bullied really badly bullied at school and he has no friends I don't again relating to myself here he has no friends he doesn't have any he gets bullied he gets everyone bullies him and not just like a main bullying group everybody bullies him um, he has no friends um, his parents and sister because he has a sister and he has pair um, you know two parent mum dad and the sister um, his parents ignore him and just think of him as a waste of space and his sister um, is an utter bitch um, and she's absolutely horrible I'm making it so she's so horrible um, and what she is she's um, she just doesn't like him for some reason she just does not like him and he's just really depressed and he decides that um he's gonna kill everybody in his school and the the manga is gonna about, about be him plotting and killing everybody in his school it's gonna be gonna be sort of him like picking off people one by one first and then um eventually you'll have to wait and see what happens but eventually it's gonna be sort of him picking off people and then there'll be the grand plot at the end but that's more or less how it's gonna run and i'm just gonna at the moment i'm just sort of trying to think of how i can make this work and stuff so i hope you guys like the idea and do, do you think it's cool also um post in the comment as well i need a cool serial killer name because like i think every killer needs a cool serial killer name like for example jigsaw or michael myers and, and that's kind of like plain but freddy krueger you've got um jason Voorhees. um you also got kira from death note um leatherface so, um, Leatherface, Candyman, um, Chucky. So you know, you know the 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 big, you know the, the big sort of horror um, serial killers. Um, so if you guys can give me a cool serial killer name, I want it to sound evil. <laughs> That's all I could come up. Just, just give me a cool serial killer name. Um, anything that sounds cool, and if I like it, then I might actually use it. So um, this video has gone on for quite a while, but yeah, check out my channel hopefully there should be more stuff going on there eventually but yeah this is my um week 31 video for the cool otakus also i just want to welcome back uh, my manga quest because he's now come back now from um he kept because he went to the air force now he's come back um just a special thanks to um super die manga kai who covered for um my manga quest and you know um if you want to cover for anybody else ever, um, just a quick message to Super Diamond Kai is that 
uh, again, if someone leaves temporarily, then you're welcome to come back and sort of cover again because I think everybody and the um, the viewers enjoyed having you. So and you know it was thank you very much for covering for my manga quest. Anyways, this is Drag One. I've ranted on long enough, and I'm finally going to go now. So bye.